Hello and welcome to episode 4 of the group Iron Man challenge. Last episode we went and did a whole bunch of agility and fishing and questing and it was pretty boring but if you missed it make sure to go check it out. Uh, there's a couple cool clips in there. But for this episode we plan on doing at least rune gloves, maybe dragon gloves. Uh, Desert charge is going to be a little bit because we're still hunting for those magic logs. But these are our current stats. We got 67 fish in last episode, almost level 70 cooking, so that's lovely. Uh, 34 prayer. I do plan on getting 43 before I do monkey madness. How I'm going to train prey is I'm actually going to train it over at the Chaos Temple in the wilderness. I know, I'm a hardcore. But what can I say? I like living on the edge, and if I die, you know, so be it. It just wasn't meant to be. But uh, definitely gonna have a dragon semi at the end of this episode. That's a huge goal of mine. I finished killing all the dragons, so now I got plenty of bones for now. Uh, John actually caught 199 baby dragon bones from Ampling. And we have 116 dragon bones, so that's enough for me and him. We still need more bones for Justin, but that's some at a later date. But for now, I need to get my ice gloves. But that requires level 50 mining, so we're gonna go train some mining, get that up, and then acquire the ice gloves. Hmm, so I'm kind of having like a little debate with myself. Like, I need the 50 mining, but should I do Motherload Mine? Or should I go and do the Sandstone, since I'm the crafting guy and I'm gonna need it anyways? Like, I, I'm not sure which one's better. I'll probably get level 41 mining, and then after that I'll go and try Sandstone and see how it goes. About to wrap up level 41, uh, I was banking on the ore, so it's coming out to be about 15k XP an hour, which isn't that great, but let's go and try out the sandstone and see how that goes. 45 mining coming in right now. Uh, this place isn't that bad. I'm getting about 25k an hour, and I'm already at close to 2000 sand, I do believe, inside the storage. So that's not too bad, um, especially since I'm not tick manipulating, but... Only do that during fishing. <laughs> My mining's too much of a pain to do that. Hey, level 50 mining. So now we can do that quest, but real quick, I'm going to show you some. We got about 3.8k sand, something like that. Oh, wow, 4,000, okay. So let's go ahead and claim the sand. We need 3,100 for level 61 crafting. And boom, that was a big chunk of change, though. <laughs> Oof, I'm going to have to go sell the rest of those rune arrows. So one of the reasons why I got the ice gauntlets is just so I can come to Blast Furnace and get 40 smithing. And I'm going to need 40 smithing for a couple quests. I need 50 long term, but I'm probably going to wait on that. But I will make about 100 gold bars just so I have some more teleports. And here we are about to get our goldsmith gauntlets. Uh, that sounds good for me. So yep, there we go. Goldsmith gauntlets. Yeah, uh, for my little still bars, we are making still dart tips, and we're going to use those to train our fletching once we are level 37 fletching. I honestly forgot, like, how OP this method is. Like, this is so quick. Watch this XP drop. Bam. 1.5k for level 50 smithing. Hey, let's go ahead and start those still darts now. Uh, we're about to do Shadow of the Storm, and I do have a record of dying here, so hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, let's go. Me and you. Me and you, Ag. Agrith. Let's do it. I feel like this quest should have been the Demon Slayer quest, just because that guy was really hard to kill. He, he like, made me eat all my food and I'll safe spot him for half of it. So, yeah, that, that guy's very powerful. Well, there we go. Quest completed. We got 10k range XP as well as one quest point, and that's going to put us to a level... Let's see, 27 range. So all we need is one more level and we can use the Dorgashin crossbow. So I was going to do this just for the kudos so I can go and train AFK at the Anamite Crabs. And uh, first inventory, got the clean necklace. Like, that's really lucky. Hey, we just got a thousand total level. That's awesome, which means that we can like technically prestige prestige uh, and make it where we can no longer become a normal account. But honestly, I probably won't do that. Well, I think we all knew that this quest was going to have to end up happening. Uh, Underground Pass, we're about to start it. We are level 65 agility, so hopefully we only fail like once. 
At least that's being optimistic. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, we'll go in there and find out. Ah, we fell. <laughs> that was pretty good though. It was only once during that whole top part where you killed the uh, demons and whatnot. Plus, it's kind of a good thing since I need it here anyways. Oh, that wasn't that bad. The quest is already over. I only fell two times, so that's pretty good. Uh, we get five quest points, 3k agility and attack, and the Ivan Staff. Let's go upgrade this bad boy. Excuse me, Dark Mage. Can you upgrade my staff for me? 200 coins? Ah, eh, screw it. Let's do it. Rest in peace, 200k. There we go. Upgraded staff. Oh, this is so good, though. Like, it's going to be a godsend at Barrows. Level 70 cooking coming in. We're just going to do a little bit of skilling. Yeah, just a little farm run coming in. I, I love the look of, like, the sweet corn. It just looks so good. Like, it, it's very, very well done. Just about to wrap up Hero's Quest, and honestly, this was so much easier than I remember it. But uh, we get almost 30k in split skills, so that's pretty good. Uh, level 41 range, 26 herb lore. Not bad, not bad unlocks. Let's go ahead and get our Dragon Battle Axe. So John finally got around to getting those Amulet of Glories, but now we're about to charge them and hand them back to him. So, yeah, good job, John. Proud Thanks, of buddy. Proud of you. All right, John, we're about to head up and get 43 prayer, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be easy. Made us some amulets just so we can get there quicker, but, you know, let's go ahead and see how quickly we die. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? All right. Let's do it. Oh, shit. All right, drip. Log, 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 log. Easy peasy, boys. Easy peasy. Easy. That's 33 for me. I'm at uh, 39. <clears throat> so do you think I should chance it at uh, Chaos Finite? That's 43 pre. Awesome. That, that wasn't that bad, right, John? No. I should say Easy. Mr. Justin. All right, been hanging on to this clue for a while. Uh, we finally got 40 range, so let's go and see if it's the casket. Step number four. It is the casket, John. It's completed, dude. Nice. Uh, you, you want me to open it? Or you want me to wait? Open it? Open it. Open it? Ah, oh, dude, not shit. We get purple sweets and a rune kite shield. Dude, now we can... T hey, lucky me. I was just doing some RFD and I come across this shooting star. What are the chances, huh? My first one ever in the game, actually. Just about to cook the raw jubbly, and the shooting star got me 1.6k of that. Uh, it was very interesting. I uh, only need 400 more for the ring that gives a plus 4 invisible mining boost. And just like that, boys, Rune Gloves is unlocked. That's pretty awesome. Let's see the stats. Plus 8 down the board, except for magic. Really good. So now that we got the freeing of Pirate Pete out of the way, uh, we can actually live here for a good long time and do giant seaweed. So I've just been working on a lot of farming, and let me tell you, we just got level 40. We've been doing uh, tree runs, so we've been getting from birdhouse runs. So we are almost level 30 hunter as well. But for now, we're going to go do Ghost of Hoy with John and try to get the ectophile to help out with farm runs. I think you're making this up. I swear to God, she has a fucking range. Like, I remember doing this on, like, Schema Posse. <laughs> she, she's got... What does she, she got a, here? She's got a bed and does they count? Dude, no shot! <laughs> you turn. No! <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I swear to God. She, oh, beekeeper! Oh my God, dude. Like, you should do that. Let's go. 
But... I thought she had a fire or something because I remember doing this quest like three years ago and like just making it right here on the spot. There's no way I brought logs. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Clearly. Unless Slayer Music won. <laughs> Dude, no, that's what we need to do. We need to go look at Slayer Music 1's guide and see what he does. They probably removed it from the game. Don't burn it. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> no way does that have a left click. Why is Runelight not fixed that? First off. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No way. No way. Hey, uh... I'm sending Adam a DM. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> hey, so I've been doing a lot of seaweed farming. I got about 420 so far, so now I'm just going to cook it up. And I know technically I should probably wait until uh, I get Lunar Diplomacy done, but I can't be that efficient. Screw it. You know, I'm just here to have fun, and I need my crafting up. So, cooking the seaweed it is. Went ahead and did some mage training arena just to get the mudroon. So let's go ahead and buy one mudroon, two mudroon, three mudroon for the boys. Quest completed. We went and did the eyes of glow feed. That's why we needed that mudroon. It gave us 6,000 rune crafting experience, which put us all the way up to level 23, almost level 24. What? Dude, I, I need stuff from you and you need stuff from me, dude. What are you doing? I was just going to trade you. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. What well, what? You it, now you don't want to trade me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll trade you. I swear to god, if you're trying to make me drink a goddamn prayer potion, <laughs> I'd Damn. log. Uh I would never do that. Okay, there we go. Oh, good God! Look at that. Um, I'm just bringing. I'm bringing the royal seal. Oh, I forgot to give you your monkey bones. You can have those. Royal seal. Did you start the quest? <laughs> no. Oh my God! You're so fucking dumb. Thanks, buddy. Um, I'm bringing five two and a five crumb one. You know what? I might be dumb, but you know what you are. Hurtful. Stupider. What? Hurtful. You're, you're very hurtful. Oh, oh, oh fuck, yeah. man. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, like during this video, I'm going to be reading all the quest dialogue. So you're... bear with me. I'm going to no. need you to voice act as the monkey. Shut the fuck up. Like before we get the monkey speak? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> See, I don't like that you don't have to put it in the video when you do something fucking stupid <laughs> but if i do something fucking stupid <laughs> dude that, that that's, shit's going in that's actually funny because uh you know how i was acting pretty dumb during the uh, ghost of mm -hmm. the, the like the only clip up i did was you fucking out the needle tea okay watch out for the jokers they'll gangbang you <laughs> yeah definitely gotta watch out for the gang banging jokers yeah, why are you still a woman I haven't done recruitment drive. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was just because that booty. No, I am going to stay a woman, though, for the booty. Look at it. Actually, the graceful pants. I, I know, dude. It's thick. I wish my ass had any curve to it. Like I, My ass is as flat as a pancake, dude. It's probably because you just sit on it all the time. Probably. Yeah. You can get pounded too hard from the back, you know? Okay. <laughs> Did our glider survive? Of course. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Were we we're supposed both. to do that? No, oh, we're no. Retard. Fucking green light, dude. Am I ever going to go down? Yeah, okay. Good lord. I've been waiting for years. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I forgot. What happened? It just stood too close to the gate. How did that fuck me up? No, you got it. You got it.
What was that? He punched me. Wait, oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. This these is... little scorpions, keep moving, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, this is dangerous territory. Fucking chugging these bitches, though. The super energies. Are you fucking kidding me? I had to get poison at. Oh my god, poison this right away. Dude. Where are you going? Oh, oh my god. Nowhere. Nowhere fast. I tried to give him bananas. He's like, I don't want no bananas. God, you're fucking brave. I wish I was as brave as you. <laughs> <laughs> Buh, buh, buh. And kind of a Karen, I'm honest. Yeah, totally Karen. Did you give him the bananas? Yeah, I gave him the bananas. Why did you not give him the bananas? That's what you're supposed to do. Like he's asking for bananas for his mom, but it, oh like... no, I just I just heard remove this oh, human. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, they're they're coming for me. Oh no! Oh my god. I'm not sure why that didn't work all of a sudden. It's rude. Here's the I, oh, you're gonna give this guy a banana until he gives you an XP lamp. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bank and withdraw my 20 bananas. You got 20 bananas? Why? No, I don't have 20 bananas in the bank. Why would I have 20 bananas? Why would I have any bananas in my bank? Are you a banana Case picker? God. Dude, I'm a banana. Did, Something. did you get the tally men to tally know. your bananas? Why, why'd you let me go this way? What the hell's wrong with you? Casey. What? I have COVID. Uh... Oh. oh my <laughs> gosh, if only I haven't heard that 19 times. <laughs> <laughs> <Ba -boom. laughs> oh, nice. I didn't even catch that. Yeah, you did. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that better go in there. That was oh, good. Shit. Yeah, dude, I just splashed like 30 times in a row, no lie. Yeah, this Ivan's ain't doing much. I got a glorious staff and a wizard hat. I don't have a lot of magic attack bonus, but like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> and 50 magic defense. Yeah. Dude, look at you letting other people do your dirty work. It's just like group iron, man. <laughs> dude. Hey, congrats, bud. I only had two prayer points by the end of that. I had a drink of dose, I'm not gonna lie. So John, <clears throat> that, that was a good fun little quest, huh? Nice little outing, in and out, ten minutes. Yeah, what are you gonna use your uh, XP on? Uh, I'm gonna do the attack option. Yeah, get my attack same. up. I feel like that's just the way to go. Yeah. Please, please. 40 on the dot, let's nice, go. <laughs> yeah, it's got my 60 strength or 60 attack. Dude, that's badass. I think I have rune legs, chain body, square shield, full helm. I think I'm about to be just about completely decked out. Hell yeah. You like the fucking bot gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll run up to Apatol. If you want to chop me that cash, I'll get you those dragon simmies. Uh, look at these beautiful dragon simmies. You excited, John? Dude, I'm amped. <laughs> Why, you can't even wield it yet? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Fuck off. Went ahead and started the recipe for disaster, the last part that I need to do before the boss fight. So let's hopefully come down here and not burn this. I do have 71 cooking, so hopefully that's enough. And I got two extra. Good luck, us. Let's go ahead and start it. Uh, 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 first one cooked. That's awesome. And just like that, quest has been completed. And that is recipe for disaster completely done. So with all that done, that does mean that we unlocked dragon gloves. However, I'm not going to waste the money on them just because it's only a plus one over rune gloves. And honestly, I can't be asked to lose 70k for it. But anyways, next episode, hopefully we'll finish off Barrel's Gloves and no promises. But I do want to start training Slayer. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see the previous episode, please check the description.